you are African, or if you are African American, God wants to get your attention now. Now, more than ever, he wants to get your attention. Now, listen up. God has brought the COVID-19 virus as he wants to set a highway for the king. He is creating an order out of the chaos in the world. It's a new world order, and it is the Messiah world order that is being established. On Shavuot, we celebrate together the night of the bride. When we have seen 104 nations, friends, over 3,000 concurrently, 100,000 views together, stand and say, we will take upon ourselves the Torah. We will take upon ourselves Messiah. We are ready to make a way for him. Now, what does that have to do? with the African-American community. That's where we have to turn to the Bible. We have to understand what the prophets of Israel has been telling us and been prophesying to prepare us for this day. And it's not going to be a long message. But it's very clear. Friends, I'm sitting down praying and a voice from heaven speaks to me. Today, I have to tell you what the voice of heaven has said. Here is what the voice from heaven said. Are you ready? The voice of heaven said, Africa it has the seed of Israel all throughout the continent. All throughout the continent. This was a surprise for me, friends, when I saw these clusters in Africa, when I start to hear the report. Friends, because of you, we distribute 1,000 books. And our people rejoicing. Our people returning to the roots. We are starting to hear reports of revelation in Africa of the Jewishness among the Lambas from Kenya, from the Ibus, from Madagascar. We're getting all of those reports and God spoke to me before I even opened the scriptures. And he says to me, you know what, this is happening? This is happening because the bride have an article of clothing in Africa and unless Africa is ready, the bride cannot be ready. Remember, the bride is whole, the bride is full, and a major part of the house of Israel, what we scripture call Zera Israel, the seed of Israel, is right there, hidden in Africa. In a minute, you will understand what's happening in the United States of America. Tune in with me. Stay on this message right now. I need you to focus. Because the revelation that I'm giving you today is not Rabbi Shapira. Heavens spoke to me. Heavens spoke to me. And he told me, change the plans for this Shabbat. Change everything for the Shabbat. Something supernatural is about to happen with Africa and with the African-American community. Let me say it again. Something supernatural is about to happen with the African-American community. I have given 1,400 messages. I never once address the African-American community. But tonight, I am. Because you have a very special invitation. Africa has a very special invitation. And the time is now. This is why we are seeing this revival. Look with me what it says. According to our stages, it says, according to Amos, Chapter 9, verse 7. Check this out. 
I saw this verse. I was floored. It says Israel, Israel, these northern tribes, Nikreu, they are called Kushim, Kushim. They call Kushim. The word Kushim comes from the word Kush. Kush is Ethiopia or the area surrounding Ethiopia. And it says that Israel is likened or they are called Kushim. As it is say, Kushim comes from the word black. As it is says, uh, this is from the Talmud, quoting Amos chapter 9, verse 7, Allo kebnei kushim atem li, you are Israel like the sons of the kushim. You, Israel, are called kushim. Why? Because the prophet is telling us that there is part of Israel, let's call them the remnant, let's call them those who have been scattered, who are like the Cushim. Now, when the prophets speak about them, he's not speaking about them in a favorable way. Why? Because they have been scattered. They have been gone. They are no longer there. Look at this. It says, in Amos, to me, O Israelite, you are just like the it's translated as Ethiopians, but it is not say Ethiopians. That's what the Hebrew Holy Tongue says. Let us not manipulate the Holy Tongue. It says Cushim, Atem Libne Israel. You are like the Cushim, declares the Lord. Why? Because Israel is there in the Cush tribe, brought Israel up from the land of Egypt. But also the Philistines from Kafto and the Armenians from Kiel. Okay? Israel, number one, make yourself the note. Israel has a name. And one of the names that Israel is called by is Kushim. Kushim is a generic name for anybody who is black. Now I want to be careful here. I am not saying that every black person is from the state of Israel. That's not what I'm saying. I am saying that as we're going to see in one minute, it is this specific, this specific group of the house of Israel who is scattered in it in Africa that is called Cushim. That's speaking about specifically here about a subset from the house of Israel. Now check this out what the prophet saying. It says in Moed Katan, this is in the Talmud recorded in the Talmud. Similarly you can explain the verse as you not so much as mine as the children of the Cushite children of Israel is their name Cushite? No! Their name is not Cushite. Israel is their name. Rather, just as the Cushites said, because of the dark skin, so too the Jewish people are distinguished by their action and they are different from all other nations. Friend, we have today groups in Africa like the Ibu, like the Lambas. They are completely distinguished from the other groups in their customs and their tradition and here the Talmud itself recorded and it says at times they're going to look at Kushites like regular Africans but they are really Israelites they are part of the seed of the house of Israel we have a movement today that is a very dangerous movement they call the black Israelites. They're anti-Semitic. They hate the Jewish people. But you see, this is what a Satan wants to do. He wants to take a little grain of truth and he wants to twist it, pervert it, and manipulate it in reality. The prophets of Israel explain to us that it is this exact seed of Zerah Israel, of the seed of Israel that found in Africa, not only that is a Jewish seed, it is the seed that is needed to come bring Israel to salvation. 
the entire salvation. You know, because Yeshua said that the last will be first and the first will be last. Guess what? The prophets of Israel have agreed. It is those who are the least among our people. Who are not even count as our people today. They will be the one who will bring Israel to salvation. You ask Rabbi Shapira, how do you know that? I know it because my Bible, my Bible will tell me so. In Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 10 on, we read about the nations coming to their fullness. And as they come to their fullness, we see how this fullness is going to take place in part of the salvation of all of Israel. Now we read a very interesting passage. Let's read this together. And it says, from beyond the river of Cush, which means what? To the south of the river of Cush. What is the south of Cush? Zimbabwe is the south of Cush. Friend, it is the Lamba people and our people who are south of Cush, from beyond the river of Cush. What it says, my suppliants shall bring offering to me in fair posai. Now, I want you to understand because there is a mystery here. There are two nations that are being mentioned. Now, we don't know today what are those nations. One name in the Hebrew is the name Atari. And the other name, but, means the daughter, Potsi. What about Putsi mean? It's come from the word Futsot. My daughter who has been scattered. Friends, it says that there will be a daughter of Israel who is going to be scattered and they will be one. And look at the word, next word. They will, it doesn't say they will bring offering. The word is Yovelun. That's where we get the word Yovel. Jubilee. That is talking about what this group is going to do, be doing. They are going to lead the house of Israel to the Jubilee. 50. Jubilee is the number 50. For the coming of the Messiah. What are they going to do? They are going to bring the mincha. The mincha is a special gift. The rabbi asked the question, what is the gift? What is the great gift that they are going to bring that is going to lead to the south of the salvation of Israel? Here's what we know. They are south of Ethiopia. Two nations, but it's not nation, nations. It is a region. It's a prophecy, friends, of all of Africa, the sons or the daughters who have been scattered. I have a chance, friends, to go to the wilderness in Zimbabwe and to go to Nigeria. They are scattered and they are everywhere. In a minute, you understand what's happened in the United States of America. And that's why I need everybody to pay attention today and go alarm and alert your African-American friends. You know why a Satan right now is doing what he's doing? Because when African-Americans, when they left forcefully, they were sold, they were sold, and they were kicked out of the homeland, they lost their root. You see, a curse was put on them because those who were before them also left the root. They lost the root. The Zimbabweans, the, 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 the Ibu, they left the root. The, the Lambas, they left the root because they were wicked. They kept just a little bit of the tradition. Today, 
What's happening in the United States of America is a result of the root of the entire African American community being lost. When the root will be returned to Africa, this is the revelation from Hashem. When the root will return to Africa, it will also return to the African American community because every African American is connected to Africa. Every African American, and that's why I call upon African Americans today. You need to know. Your root, your real root is not Africa. Your real root is in the house of Israel, at least for the remnant. And today, what is happening is African Americans are turning against Jews. You know what? Because they're turning against their own brother, because that's what. Now, look at what's happening prophetically in the world. A revival, a revival, a real revival is starting to happen among the natural branch in Africa, which is the seed of the house of Israel. This is the root. They are returning to the root. Zimbabwe is experiencing a return to the root. And when Zimbabwe, but Potsi, when Nigeria, where Kenya, when Madagascar will return to the root, it will affect every black person in the world. You know why? Because they are spiritually connected to Africa and Africa connected to the 12 tribes of the house of Israel. So if we heal the root, we are going to be healing the entire which including the African-American community, friend.